Hello, my name is Sultan Al Niyadi, and I'm an astronaut from the United Arab Emirates, currently living and working on board the International Space Station. Reliable communication between the crew up here and our support team on Earth is critical. We rely on space to ground communication for many of our activities, from official calls during spacewalks and while conducting experiments to making personal calls with our friends on Earth. Let me show you how we make phone calls up here on the station using an IP or internet protocol phone through our computer. The phone connection is really clear. You would never know we are calling from space. I'll call a good friend of mine, NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur. Ooh, I think it's space station calling. Hey, this is Megan. How's it going up there? Good, we are just hanging around. I'm with a student right now, Michaela, and we're talking about the crew on station and how you communicate with Earth. So we have some questions for you. But first, Michaela, check out this area code. Oh, cool. That's the Houston area code. That's right. Calls from the space station show up with 281 Houston area code because our calls are routed through Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. This is pretty cool. Are you hearing us all the way from the space station right now? Yes, I hear you loud and clear. But I thought sound doesn't travel in space. You're right, Michaela. Sound waves are mechanical waves and can't travel through the vacuum of space. They need a medium like air, water, or other material to be transmitted through. For example, imagine a spacewalking astronaut working on the outside of space station. We hear the noise from inside the ISS because the motion outside creates a vibration that transmitted through the hull of the space station. We hear this as a sound inside the ISS because the spacecraft is a material medium. Unlike sound waves, electromagnetic waves can travel through space. Think about the waves of the ocean. All the water does not move into the beach, but the energy moves through the water in a repeated up and down motion. The wave transports the energy rather than the material from one point to another. Oh, take a look. A group of teachers at Space Center Houston demonstrated a wave for us. What a terrific wave! Even though the teachers didn't change seats, the motion was moved from one person to another and continued throughout the auditorium. Like ocean waves, electromagnetic waves move energy, in this case, from an electric charge from one point to another. Oh, that makes sense. How is the sound of my voice reaching you in space right now? Great question. The sound of your voice is encoded into a series of electromagnetic waves and sent to a satellite that will then relay the signal back to the station. Next, the wave is decoded into sound that the receiver can hear and understand. It seems pretty fast. How long does it take for all that to happen? Well, the signal reaches the space station in about a quarter of a second. The time from transmission to reception depends on the location of the transmitter and the receiver. Since the space station orbits the Earth at about 250 miles above, it's close enough to make the communication nearly instantaneous. So, it takes a few hours for astronauts to get to the ISS and three days to get to the moon. How long does it take for the communication to get to the moon during the Artemis mission? The moon is a bit farther away from the ISS. Waves traveling at the speed of light from the moon would reach Earth in about 1.25 seconds. So the small delay would hardly be noticeable. Houston Moon Base, what's for lunch today? Moon Base Houston, looks like space burgers. The trip to Mars will take about seven months, right? Mm -hmm. Do I even want to know how long it'll take to have a conversation from Mars? <laughs> That's a great point, Michaela. When we travel to Mars, the signal will have to travel much farther because of the great distance. Even at the speed of light, it can take from three to 22 minutes, depending on where the planets are in their orbit. Are you able to use the internet, send text messages, or use social media in the space station? Yes and no. We can't send text messages or use smartphones here because we have no cell reception on station. Yet, we can use our computers to connect to the internet and send pictures directly to our friends and family through email. We also use our computers to post on social media and share about life on station. Station Houston on Space to Ground 2 for Sultan. I'm getting a call from Mission Control. I have to run. Continue to think about the ways communication connects us in space and on Earth. How fun was that, Michaela, to get a call from the International Space Station? That was so fun. I'm glad I got a chance to talk to them. Me too. To learn more about space communication, check out the corresponding classroom connection found at nasa.gov slash demonstrations. 
If you'd like to have a chance to talk to an astronaut on station, have your school apply to host a downlink. Thanks for exploring space with us today.